This would be flip-flop repair 101. I'm tired of paying $60 for flip-flops and every time, about three months into it, my flip-flop breaks. So now, I'm going to show you 101 how to repair it. Take your flip-flop that's busted, you go ahead and you cut that off. Whoops, hold on. And we have the clippers. At that point, you will then take, clip off the end. We will then take our drill. We will go right through the end. Appropriate drill bit 197. We go through there like that. And then we're going to use the old Kino flip-flop style. going to take us a piece of rope. A hole punch. We are going to guide this rope through the hole. Uh-oh. I then like to take a pair of pliers and hold the rope as I pull my hole punch back through and pulling the rope. Double it up. Give yourself plenty, depending on how big and fat your toe is, depending on how much rope you're going to need at the other end. We are then going to push it through. That would be one. That would be the other end. At that point, we're then going to pull it down. I like to make it a little tighter than I would normally wear it because after using them, it will stretch. Then I'll pull it on in. I will grab the other end. I will tie a knot. In that proximity, giving myself about a half inch. That's a little too much, so I'll pull back out. At that time, I will then take, untie the knot. Moving the knot forward. Then re-pull. That looks sexy to me. Sexy, I said. We will then pull the other side. I like to pull on both cords, but we get it good and tight. Then I will snip and clip about a quarter to a half inch away from the knot. At that time, I will then put it in my press, grab my torch, keeping in mind you must have a rubber bottom on your flip-flop, heating the knot, slowly heating the bottom of the shoe. Well then, heat the area around the knot, then putting this in the vise, don't burn down the house. Flip it around again. Squeeze one more time. At that point, you then have a repaired flip-flop. Much better than new.
nice. 